Your first tattoo marks you as a warrior in training. You will add many as your journey continues. Relax, daughter. It will not take long. Mount Kylos. Your mother and I had our soul union there. I don't ever want a soul union. Never. Ever. I will become a great warrior on my own. I'm not like the other scouts. Talking as if they're already warriors. They are far too childish for me. Standing with others makes you stronger. There is much you can gain by having someone at your side. Like you and Mama. Yes. She is much tougher than you. <clears throat> you are doing very well. I remember my first, and how much it hurt. Papa, there's so little time, and sometimes I feel like there's still so much to ask you. What is it you wish to know? What if... What if I face an opponent who cannot be beaten? I am strong, but I am small. I fear that my skills will not be enough when the time comes. You already know this answer. Never surrender. It is our way. Yes. If I fall, it will be with my sword in hand. And what if... <clears throat> what will you do if I return more powerful than even you? My legend spreading across the valleys. My foes quivering in fear. Then I will be more proud than my simple words can express. It is done. It is us. There is one last test you must pass before you can leave. Conquering the unknown. It's too far. I, I can't see what's down there. You must jump. Unless you wish to wait another year. No! I'm ready! Like you said. It's normal to feel scared. I... I can't do it. You have to help me, Papa. Wait! I did it! I'm proud of you, Kamaria. You will do well at the training grounds. I'm gonna miss you, Papa. There's no reason to. Look at your tattoo. And know I am always with you. I will. Papa, I must go now. You have to let me go sometime. It's a long walk on the warrior's path. 
I don't want to keep the others waiting. You can't hold on to me forever. I get it. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. Okay, okay. I will miss you too, and Mama. We can't wait around all day like this. It'll be dark soon. I'll fight my way out of it if I have to. should have let her go. Maybe... Maybe then she would still be alive. Drax, I... Hey, that's real sad and all, but we can use some muscle over here! I am Never mind, we're good. This is where we run. Why are you stopping? I'm sorry I used my powers on you before. I didn't mean to. It wasn't intentional. I was only trying to pull him off you. What are you talking about? You got us out of there. If it wasn't for you, I'd still be getting squeezed to death by Drax. Oh, you're right. I was the hero. <laughs> the ship! There's my girl! Hurry, Rocket! I'm trying! I ain't got long stick legs like the rest of you! Everyone take a seat! We're leaving! Did any of you get a good look at that thing? <laughs> what was that even? I am Groot. A tree! Stop yanking my tail! I am Groot. It's giant and terrifying and probably wants us dead. I don't need to know any more about it. In this that. case, I'll say your extreme lack of curiosity is a virtue, Quill. Nebula's plugged into the ship. She's stable. Okay, then we're good to go. Wait! I feel something. Someone is starving. No, bigger! My hunger has no equal. Ah. Once we're out of here, we'll get you some food. That is one big Bowie. I am Groot. Wrong again, Groot. We're all gonna die. Punch it, Pete! <laughs> Not today! Dead? <sighs> Not quite. We're lunch! Or dinner. What time is it? This slimy cave. It is... A big old stomach. Nebula. Who can I... What the hell is she doing? Mora, wait! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs>
Plug her back in, Peter. No. Stop. Please. If your systems shut down, we can power them through the ship. It won't do anything. Stop being so stubborn. It can help keep you alive. I don't like... being tethered. No. I'm past that point. Don't be stupid. Please. Don't make me beg. God damn it, Quill. He's trying to help, Nebula. We can't do anything on our own. I'll get Rocket. There's no use. Can't be put back together. This time. Honestly, it feels good to have parts of me. I wish I could have done this whenever I wanted. <laughs> Maybe then I could have slept. We're gonna get you help, okay? Rocket can fix anything. <sighs> Not this time. <laughs> Cascading system failures. The cybernetic parts of me are going dark. Organics will go offline much quicker. It was my idea to put all this in my body. I told everyone it was so I could be better than Gamora. Why did you really do it? To be more like her. I looked up to her. I was terrible to her. I nearly killed her. I loved her. You don't have to. She already knows. Really? I'm a living reminder of her time with Thanos. She can't move on until that last, that last piece of him is gone. And things will be better soon. For everyone. The world would definitely not be better without you. You're the only person who Drax is afraid of. I mean, someone's got to keep him in check. <laughs> that, that does make me feel better. Thank you, Peter, for listening to this. <laughs> Whatever it is. Hey. Hey. Do, uh, do you want me to... I don't know people uh, trying to fix me. I, uh, yeah, I get that. There's something I need to tell you, sister. What is it? I... I know.
I can sense your despair, Peter. Everyone's really. Is Nebula still? I don't mean to pile it on, but I got some bad news too. Our engines got thrashed when we were swallowed. Can we still fly this thing? Not a friggin' chance. Okay. Let's get back to work. Mora, you don't need to be here right now. We understand. This is better for me. I want to help. In the end, she was one of us. A guardian. I think she liked it. <laughs> Being part of something good for once. Nebula was the fiercest, most sinister opponent I have faced in battle. What I liked most about Neb was how much she hated Pete. Like in a deep, unrelenting way. Funny girl. I am Groot. Oh, yeah. And she really seemed to care about you, Gamora. You should value the connection you two shared. To be alone is a worse fate. Speaking of worse fates, we gotta figure a way out of here before we end up like those poor bastards. Those poor bastards. Exactly! Huh? What? Look at all those ships! There has to be some parts we can salvage out there. You forget about that internal ocean of stomach acid. You can't just take a little swim. Then get me flying again. I'll see what I can do. I mean, I sure ain't dumb enough to go out there. Let's find some engines. That'll do. Listen, I've been running the numbers. We gotta drop weight in order to take off. Drop weight? How exactly do we do that? Yeah, take everything that ain't bolted down and give it the old Chucky Chuck. The lighter we are, the longer we float. The easier it'll be to get airborne. But this is our home. I built my life on this ship. And if you want to continue that life, you'll have to unbuild it. Sorry. Ah! No! Please don't tell me the answer. Well, I didn't burst into flames. Time for round two. As long as I don't overwork the jets, I should be able to avoid the acid. I hope. Hey, Rocket. I want you to go easy on Gamora. Okay, she's... Yeah, okay. I know when to back off. Hope this creature doesn't want a midnight snack. Last thing we need is for the acid level to rise. Rocket, what's up with these boots? I thought you fixed them. I made a valiant effort. There's only so much you can do when parts are scarce. Incidentally, we're gonna need to replace our plumbing when we get back to Dover. Either way, stop complaining. Rocket. Any luck lightening the ship? Gamora says if I go anywhere near her room, she'll cut off my head. It's a work in progress. Rocket, what gives her the mood lately? I ain't got a ton of interest in dying right now. 
Can you blame me? Drax, how's the unloading going? I keep tearing objects off of the bridge, but Rocket says they are essential to life support. Yeah, um... Why don't you check with him next time? Drax. Yes, Peter Quill. Have you gathered the necessary components to eject us from this beast? Not yet. What about now? What's up, Drax? I trained my Camaria to be a warrior, like Thanos trained Nebula. Still, I am confident she would not have fallen down the same path. Gamora. It's a real mess we're in. Everything I touch, I'm toxic. You're not toxic, Gamora. A stomach? <laughs> That's toxic. Thank you. I think. How's the rest of the crew doing? We are arguing about what to jettison. Get back as quickly as you can. Gamora? How are you holding up back there? I'll... I'll be better once we get out of here. Yes, Drax? I think we should dispose of... That no, Drax, she stays with us. But it hardly makes any... No, Drax! Gamora, how is emptying out the ship going? We're at each other's throats. So, just another day on the Milano? <sighs> yeah. Rocket, any ideas on how to move these engines? My boots won't be able to. It's an engine, Pete. Just turn it on. Oh, good. A giant red button. This always ends well. Said to put in some elbow grease. Which sounds gross now that I think about it. Careful, Quill! Hey, I'm doing my best out here. Now I'm inside an upset stomach. There's a rhythm to it. This whole stomach is lined with thorium crystals. Like the acid wasn't bad enough already. Ah, no engines here. those crystals, I could blast us out of here. Or get blown to kingdom come. Oh man. I'm gonna be able to get anything off of this one. What's up, Gamora? Groot never cleaned up his... Disgusting mess in the bathroom, and he refuses to do it. Maybe Rocket can talk some sense into him? I'll see what I can do. Hey, Rocket, make sure that Groot cleans out the bathroom. Ah, Groot did puke up half his guts after the bar. Should save us some weight to get that barf out of there finally. You know, I'm flying over deadly stomach acid, yet somehow you're the one that grossed me out.
Bingo. Great. More rocks in my way. Peter! What if we just dispose of Nebula's cyborg parts? No! Empty, of course. Hey, Rocket. Kinda busy, Pete. What's up? Would a piece of thorium work as starship fuel? I suppose so. In a sense, all fuel is just explosion, so... Yeah, it'll explode. Why are you asking? Oh, no reason. Just... <laughs> just curious. 